Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. Welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards and see what's in store with a message from Spirit. All right, I already have a jumper. How are you doing? How are you doing with the energies from yesterday? That energy is still really strong. New moon energy, uh, transformation, new beginnings, like powerful new beginnings. Oh my goodness. I'm curious how you're feeling. Um, this week I'm using the Modern Witch Tarot deck and I have a jumper. Let's see what it is. Oh, oh my goodness. Jumper, the Empress. The Empress is the divine feminine energy in its full power. Full, full power. This is creative potential, completely unlimited. Often she's shown pregnant. She's not shown pregnant here, but that really symbolizes like the ability to create, to create anything. And so with this being the jumper card, this is such a beautiful omen indicator of the energy that we're in, like high creation capacity. You are a creator in your full power if you allow yourself to be. So this is the energy, how we're going to read all the other cards based on the energy of the Empress, Divine Feminine, Creator, um, Compassion, Kindness, Boundaries, uh, knows her, her worth. And again, regardless of gender, we all have divine feminine energy in us. It's like taking the power back. What do we have here? Taking the power back. Look at this. Okay, so our jumper card followed by the first one out is the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles, again, this feminine energy, but Pentacles representing earthly life. So this is you and like your higher self. Oops. This is you and your human self, both of them sitting in their seat of power. So this tells me that for many of you, you are fusing this energy as of above and below. And there is a neat synchronistic element there and connective element there of empowerment for you to be able to take the energy coming from your higher self, that truth, that knowledge, that creation potential, and bringing it down into your earthly realm in that energy of the Queen of Pentacles. This is a call from the universe to take the energy right now and create, do, take action, move forward, make choices, think on your feet like Spirit has been saying. And what I find really interesting is we also have the chariot card. Now the chariot card is a card of movement. It is, it is things happening, things underway, fast paced, high potential. So again, this theme of like, Creation, movement, potentials, fast paced, like things are happening fast and I really feel that. I really feel we're in fast movement. So whatever it is that you created, you thought of, you pondered, you manifested, you experienced yesterday, take that, the understandings and the wisdom and run with it. Take that and move forward with it in your journey because there is a massive flow of universal energy. I really, really like this. Okay, let's see what else there is because those ones kind of jumped out too. All right, what else do we have in this message? And it was interesting. Spirit guided me to these cards for this week and I was going to choose something different and I totally see why it's coming through because of the, the imageries. And I'm also getting from Spirit like crisp clarity. For many of you, this energy here is going to bring in crisp clarity in a very 3D tangible way. Because the other thing I want to show you here is we have root chakra colors, sacral chakra colors, and solar plexus. Moving from the ground up, rooting in your truth, energizing your human self, and moving through the energies with a fast-paced clarity and truth. These are your very earthly chakras. Once you hit heart chakra and up, those are more like the spiritual chakras and these are the earth chakra colors. So this is interesting. This is really emphasizing your reality, your world here, shifting, changing as a result of the ripples of who you are and you standing in your power. And they're saying, use your discernment and your ability to think clearly to maneuver it like you would be if you were sitting on this throne as a queen. Very cool. All right, let's see what else. Mm. 
they're showing me the lights are coming on for many of you there's a lot of lights coming on again this idea of clarity now this is so cool again this support of energy so with that queen of pentacles you have another pentacles card three of pentacles this oh i should cover this for youtube <laughs> this card tells me that this is about people coming together so you will be coming into these synchronistic meetings reconnections maybe new connections can be in many different ways love romance partnership business but what this is saying is it's very much in your earthly world so there's going to be a meeting of the minds a meeting of the hearts um, and of the bodies to physically come together to create things right like however you're building something so notice these synchronistic alignments happening in your life right now because of the position of power you're sitting in and the speed at which the universe is bringing things to you as well what I find interesting is we also have a reconnection with the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is often a celebration of coming together, of divine unions. And this really tells me that there are divine unions coming into play in a very 3D way, right? Because this is often a card in the minor arcana of like marriages, celebration, uh, that kind of thing. And it's a celebration of the coming together. Oops, there we go. Have been coming together of these pentacles earthly things so your heart energy your passion your purpose soul driven energy is going to be leading to these connections to create divine unions now for some of you these connections are going to be something from the past um, I don't get so much that this is the past in this lifetime I actually feel like this is soul level reunions from past lives like soul level reunions that are coming in at this time because there was an agreement that you would all reconnect to create the ways of the future that's how i'm really seeing this six of cups card uh, this often can represent things from the past but to me this feels like soul past versus this lifetime past like we're talking bigger level plans here coming into play high level plans and i think that makes a lot of sense with the fact that we're getting higher self card connecting into the earthly self card and then a major arcana of speed, speed of it coming in. It's coming in fast, but there's going to be clarity and spirit is talking about this clarity. Soul connections from the past coming in to reconnect with you in this reality to make these unions happen for this connection of things moving forward. So huge energy of forward movement, forward potential, synchronistic alignment. I can't tell you how much I feel this energy right now, just bursting forward. Um, like they're showing me right now, like a stallion running free through a field. And that is always a symbolism of being set free. And so I think for many of you, this new energy now post eclipse is about you reaching states of your freedom within you and outside of you depending on where that is for your journey so notice where that's trying to take place and trying to show itself because there's some really neat things coming down the pipe and i just feel this is this explosive new beginning and i say explosive not not as like destruction but um like new lands being created, new things, new things bursting forward from the heart. Like they're showing me these blooming flowers and all of this. So beautiful new beginnings at hand. I hope you feel it. I hope you're feeling that energy and uh, I'll leave that with all of you for now. But wow, what a beautiful start to this week. So have a beautiful rest of your day. Enjoy this energy, take up your space and we'll see what comes. So thank you so much. Please do share, subscribe, and like all of that goodness. Thank you so much for your eyes and your ears and for joining me, and I will see you all tomorrow.